Hi, welcome. My name is Mrs. Moore. And I'm Mrs. Buchanan. And we are going to start our own little series of clinical excellence uh, podcasts or a mini podcast. And so in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be addressing some things as radiology, instrumentation, and pharmacology, and how we can integrate that into the clinic to allow the students and the faculty to be able to kind of focus on all the things that they're learning in their didactic courses. So today we are going to focus on radiographic selection. Here's the panoramic that was sent over to Owens from another dental office. This panoramic is current and the student was instructed during clinic to take uh, four additional bite wings. I just briefly wanted to touch upon a Lyra and the use of a panoramic. So if a patient does come into the clinic with a current panoramic and we deem them to be a better candidate for a full series of radiographs, let's go ahead and take that full series of radiographs. Panoramics are not ideal for periodontal issues, periapical issues, or detecting decay. This patient does present with all of those issues and he would have much better benefited from a full set of radiographs. This was the set of bite wings that the student did end up taking in the clinic session to supplement the panoramic. As you can see, there's a lot of overlapped contacts, which in part is going to make this non-diagnostic. Another reason why these images are deemed non-diagnostic is due to the lack of bone level that the horizontal bite wings provided for these images. As soon as a student takes a bite wing and they do not see bone level, or if they're missing bone level from either the maxillary or the mandibular arch, they should immediately switch to a vertical bite wing. If students have a hard time taking vertical bite wings, they can always consult with an instructor. Even if they're unsure if they should switch to vertical, they can feel free to consult with the instructor. Thank you, Mrs. Buchanan, for yeah. all that information. I Absolutely. truly appreciate that. Absolutely. Um, just for reference and reminder that you can find a lot of the information that we discussed in the radiology clinic manual, um, starting on page 18, which outlines the Owens Community College guideline for radiographic selection. And one of the key points is uh, line item number five, which states vertical bite wings are exposed for periodontally involved patients to increase the information available in areas with advanced bone loss. So again, these are just small tidbits to get the faculty and students and everyone calibrated in a way that we're achieving success at the most highest level. So again, we thank you faculty for all that you do for the students and students, we thank you for all your enthusiasm and hard work in the clinic. And yeah, that was great. Yeah, until next time. Until next time.